I was, I had just finished drawing my hair and picked up my purse and was ready to head um, to the house so we could go eat. And um, Seth came running and he was yelling for me, Garrett's been hurt, hurry, hurry. But he said he had a, he had a wreck on the dirt bike. And of course my first thought was, what in the world is he doing on a dirt bike? Just my heart was in my throat. And, and then when I ran across the lawn and I see him sitting on the back porch, I stopped dead in my tracks. We got dispatched to um, the Honia, Egypt area to pick up Garrett. It was very important to get Garrett here as soon as possible. If he would have had to come by ground, which would have taken uh, probably close to an hour to an hour and a half to get here at that time of day. The golden hour talks about from the minute an accident happens and in that first hour of injury, uh, that's the golden time, if you will, or the best time we have to take care of a critically ill patient. The time frame that it takes for us to get the patient and bring them back could be the difference in life and death. possibilities that could have gone right into his heart. He could have died on the scene. We have constant communication with the helicopter system in the air. So we know what the patient's status is, we know what we need to do when they get here, and we're ready for them when they hit the door. And we got him back to the only level one pediatric trauma center in the city. As Garrett came through the door with this life-threatening injury, the team are waiting in that room as he comes through the door. We are so used to the volume and stuff that we can very rapidly move from helicopter to resuscitation room to diagnosis and then to the operating room. We opened him up from his neck uh, to his xiphoid or down to his abdomen. What we did is we did a team approach Dr. Moore was slowly pulling it from the neck, making sure that we didn't have any damage to the blood vessels in the neck. And I was kind of guiding it through the chest, over the heart, over the vessels, and then had my finger up uh, as we pulled it out up into the neck so in case there was bleeding, I could put pressure on it and stop it. Thinking about what happened and how narrowly the stick missed, really, all the things that it should have hit. And then after talking to the, afterwards talking to the nurses and the doctors and having them explain it to me um, in medical terms, I realized that um, I, had, I had been lucky enough to have just to have been um, received the grace of having Garrett um, given to me twice. It's pretty overwhelming. And to know that, and to, to witness that moment of grace um, and all the people that helped make it happen, we were in the right place at the right time, surrounded by all the right people. And, um, and he's here because of that.